Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies is partnering with Aloha Care, and they've just unveiled their new Mana Mama Mobile Clinic. Sunny Chen, Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies Executive Director, joins us this morning with all the details. Good morning, Sunny. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Very happy to have you because you guys are doing such great work in the community. So before we talk more about the mobile clinic, can you tell us about Healthy Mothers Healthy Babies and the work that you guys do? Yeah, Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies. We were initially established as a statewide uh, steering committee and became a nonprofit in 1992. We're a local organization that's committed to doing whatever it takes to fill gaps in our community. And we're probably best known for programs such as Cribs for Kids or Pico Pals New Parent Support, mental health services for mothers. But in partnership with Aloha Care, we recently unveiled our Mana Mama mobile clinic, and we are adding clinical services to the social services that we already provide. Oh, so great. And talk a little bit more about that. What has Aloha Care's role been, and how exactly has that helped HMHB? Yeah, so they gave us a $35,000 grant. We were the recipient for uh, the remodeling of the Monomon Mobile Clinic. And their access to care grant has been instrumental, of course, because you need money <laughs> to launch a new program. And they assist many nonprofits, but we were selected because of our goal to provide expanded care to underserved at-risk populations, um, moms and babies in our community who just need a little extra help. And although we purchased the van, it was just an empty cargo van that we were utilizing to transport meals and diapers and cribs and provisions, but we didn't have funds to transform it into what it is today. Yeah, and, and we and were just Aloha looking at so, some video of yeah. it, and it does look really amazing. Uh, wow, what a transformation. But but talk a little bit more about that. I know you mentioned it briefly, but what exactly is the history of the van, and how was it used for community care during the pandemic? Yeah, so during the lockdown when we had our mothers coming to us saying that they had food insecurity and difficulties and fears about going out, um, we transported meals, diapers, cribs, spam, produce, whatever it was that um, families wanted and what we could get our hands on. And uh, we worked with a volunteer force of over 120 people to help us get those provisions to our families. And uh, currently we're working together with um, partner organizations, city and state departments to see how the van can pivot and be utilized to help with the increasing needs of the community, um, even maybe potentially vaccinations. Wonderful. And how did this all come to be? Um, yeah, it's always been an important goal of ours to um, reach our families where, uh, where they are. So, you know, they may have obstacles, transportation obstacles, logistical challenges as um, young moms or mothers who just need a little extra help. Um, so we wanted to provide a community-based full spectrum of care. And we started the uh, van remodel in December um, after our last delivery around Christmas time and um, we had certain components that were special ordered because it was hard to get certain parts delivered to Hawaii and uh, we just completed the full process last week Yay. and so in addition to the grant we had tons of not a lot because of the pandemic but um, close family friends and local businesses that pitched in to make it happen. Wonderful and again this is just recently completed now so so going forward who's going to be staffing the mobile clinic and and how exactly is that going to support the community? Yeah, so our staff, we're very talented. We have a nurse practitioner, certified midwives, doulas, program managers, lactation consultants, nurses, and therapists. And uh, two staff members will be assigned to the van every day. And based on the needs of the patients that they have for the day, they'll be pre-scheduled. We'll offer a full range of midwifery care uh, to assist with reproductive health, preconception, pregnancy, postpartum, uh, well-person care. And like the rest of the nation, Hawaii is facing a physician shortage. And we need to figure out how we can address those gaps and how we can fill those gaps. Yeah. And utilizing mid-level providers when appropriate, such as midwives and nurse practitioners, is part of the answer. And uh, Mana Mama's mobile clinic intends to do just that. Yeah. Wonderful. And, and for those who are wanting to know more about your services or maybe hoping to maybe get some help from you folks, where can we head to find out more? 
you can go to our website at www.hmhp-hawaii.org. You can follow us on Instagram, HMHP Hawaii, or you can just call us at 808-737-5805. Wonderful. And we'll have that link as well on our website, k20.com. Thank you so much, Sunny, for joining us this morning and again for all of you guys that you do for our community. Thank you so much.